Hi, I'm Wes, and if you're new to my channel, then uh, welcome. This is going to be my first unboxing video. I've been playing guitar since 1992, and in the 28 years I, that I've played guitar, I have unboxed many guitars. However, this is the first time I'm doing it on camera, so be gentle. First of all, oh, that's a big box. I like a big box. All right, so it looks like we've got staples on the outside here first. There we go. I'm willing to bet inside of this box is a smaller box. So inside this box is a slightly smaller box. So Schechter Guitar Research. This will be my third Schechter. I'm a big fan. I, as I'm sure you saw in the description, this is in the Apocalypse series. I have had bad gas, gear acquisition syndrome, gear acquisition syndrome, uh, for quite a while, just really lusting after an explorer. Ooh, that's a big guitar. And this is checking off all the boxes. It has kind of that natural finish, so you can see the wood grain and a couple of cool features that we'll go over in a minute. So of course you get your Allen wrenches with this, like most guitars. And we get this hefty guy. Yeah, it looks like it comes with Ernie Ball strings, so that's a nice little touch. Ow. For the big reveal. Oh, yeah. Okay, try and pull this up so we can all see it for the first time at once. Dude. Oh, hell, I'm just gonna rip it. Easier said than done. Ta da! So, this is the Schechter Apocalypse Series. E1, and get that off the control knob, but uh, it's an explorer shape with some definite Ibanez Iceman influences. Um, like the explorer, you have a set neck. Unlike the explorer, you get 24 extra jumbo frets. And instead of the shorter Gibson scale of uh, 24 and 3 quarters, this is 25 and a half inch, so more of your uh, fender scale. So if that's what you're used to, be a little bit more familiar. Master volume and the tone pot pulls to split single coil, regular three way switch. Now, what is super cool about this is this pit guard. Got nice little, is that actual metal? In the very least, it looks like corrugated metal. And this is just a metal guitar across the board. So my other two Schecters have their traditional three on three uh, headstock, but this is six in line. And when you flip it around to the back, this actually comes with, hope you can see that, locking tuners. So, that's a very nice little uh, upgrade. And all of the hardware is uh, kind of relic distressed. If you can see the bridge and the tailpiece there. So we'll plug this in in a minute. Then last touch, I'm just gonna zoom in on Apocalypse. It just seems a little too fitting for what we're going through right now. Let's plug it in and see how she sounds. All right, so we're going to go through some of the tones on uh, this absolutely gorgeous Schechter E1 Apocalypse. Um, first, I'll go over some of the materials though. So the body is swamp ash. So I just love that. I'm from Louisiana, get a little swampy. We got uh, the, uh, the neck is five piece. So it's maple and paddock, set neck, Ebony fretboard, all kinds of awesome. 
And so, uh, what I'd like to do is go over some of the clean tones. I have no effects running through it except the uh, the reverb that's built in on my mobile Marshall amp here. So uh, let's try bridge in the humbucker mode. So very nice, clean. Let's uh, switch that to uh, single cola. So it's not going to fully invite into thinking you're rocking a Strat, but it, uh, it is a very unique tone. It's, uh, it gives you another very usable tone. So this is uh, both pickups and humbucker mode. <laughs> thing that's just you know yeah that is uh, a very usable clean so we're on the uh, the bridge and humbucker <laughs> Plugged, this guitar sounds great. Um, when you have that much mass in the body, it just really gives you a little help with your tone. Okay, so what I just did was I turned on the Acapulco Gold Overdrive, and I'm doing that not because it's a great effect, which it is, but uh, I'm going to put the neck pickup in single coil mode and just roll up a little bit of volume and you'd still get a very nice little clean tone and just you pick a little bit harder and you get that uh, nice little breakup so if you're playing a song that goes between uh, clean and dirty, you can very easily just sort of uh, start picking harder. Of course, nobody's playing that because it sucked, but uh, throw in humbucker mode. how much hotter that is, it's already a bit fuzzy. But it gives you a nice warmth. But, um, boy, do a volume swell on this. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, you can get a very nice volume swell. Let's just say... Uh, really good usable 
clean sounds in this guitar. And uh, I'm just loving this. So let's see what it sounds like with a little gain. Riffing monster that this sucker is. It's just kind of pound out some power chords, see how it sounds. changing anything, just put it on the, uh, the neck pickup. comes with locking tuners is just kind of freaking amazing um, you know the hardware everything is solid in this uh, I think this might be plastic the pit guard but I mean the fact that I can't tell for sure means it's really well done if this is not actual corrugated metal doesn't seem to be magnetic but you know what, what does that tell you but the look is freaking amazing um, the feel, I tell you what, let me uh, stand up. I heard that there's some neck dive with these guys. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be much neck dive here. Um, very comfortable place standing. <laughs> exclusive to the Apocalypse series. I would not touch them. No need to change it. Uh, and earlier, I was saying, hey, the difference between um, the, uh, the Schecter here and the Gibson Explorer. Well, if you need just one reason to go with the Schecter over the Explorer, you can do this. Four frets. So I, I gotta tell you, I uh, the more I play with this, the more I just absolutely love it. So if you like this video, if you like the unboxing, if you like the uh, the review, please let me know 
is I would love to keep putting out content that people actually want to watch. Most of my videos are me just screwing around on a guitar, and I know that there's there's an audience for that, but uh, considering my uh, subscribers are pretty low, I'm guessing that this is not reaching the widest audience. But uh, let me know what you want to see, and uh, man, I'm just going to have some fun with this guitar right now.
that sustain. Oh, so again, my name is Wes. Welcome to my channel. If you have not been here before, if you like this content, like, subscribe, and rock on. Ugh.